Here's the most deadly laser weapon from the U.S. Army right now. The U.S. Navy is introducing a weapon system shortly that will allow a warship to obliterate enemy drones, helicopters, and other ships or fast attack boats. Development The U.S. Department of Defense has invested millions of dollars in laser weapons in the last four to five decades. In 2017 to 2018, a High Energy Laser Weapon System, or H-E-L-W-S, was demonstrated by the U.S. Air Force and the Army that shot multiple drones. This demonstration was the basis of the development of functional laser weapon systems, and a contract was done with the Air Force to develop three prototype high-energy laser systems that will be deployed to troops overseas. The arrival of fiber laser technology changed the entire laser weapon industry. These weapons could be fit on ground vehicles, helicopters, and ships, and the beam quality that reached the target was phenomenal. Drones can do exceptional damage and can outperform any current defensive weapon. Laser weapons have major advantages to counter drone swarms. They have a speed of light and deep magazines as long as a power source is unlimited. One can fire and hit a target immediately. The cost per shot of these weapons is very low, which is why these are used against low-cost threats like drones. Shortly, the high-energy lasers will be used to deal with threats such as missiles that may support the overall defense while dealing with multiple threats such as missiles. Have you ever wondered about the difference between chemical and fiber laser weapons? The first ever laser weapon system was based on chemical lasers. These lasers had several downsides that led to their downfall. They did not have commercial market opportunities, so the Department of Defense had to provide a vast majority of funding for components, subsystems, and the laser. Moreover, these lasers utilized chemicals in large volumes that were toxic and required a safe system for transportation. Due to these operational concerns, the chemical lasers fell out of favor. On the contrary, fiber lasers are better than chemical lasers. It has developed in the last decade with the help of the material processing and communication industries. This created an over $2 billion commercial fiber laser industry that can be leveraged by the defense industry. If the HELWS testing performs at its peak, lower power systems that could destroy drones will be introduced in no time. Ever wondered how high energy lasers work? Electrical power generates a laser beam and a system points the laser beam onto the target precisely for long enough to damage it. Radar detects and points the laser in the direction of the threat. A camera then captures and provides a higher resolution picture than the radar could provide. The decision maker then determines whether the object is a threat and the time to engage it and after the decision is made, the beam control system uses sensors to track the target, even if it is mobile. The most vulnerable point is selected based on prior knowledge of the identified target and a high-energy laser beam hits the exact point on the target with precision until it is neutralized. Tactical and Financial Breakthroughs The unique characteristic of the directed energy weapons changed warfare both tactically and financially. The basic advantage of these weapons is that the military troops do not have to worry about the transporting of heavy ammunition. The ammunition required for these weapons only includes the power supply that makes the magazine limitless. Their stealthy operation makes them perfect for surprise engagements as they can track and eliminate long and short range targets. Moreover, the Patriot missile incident shows that the directed energy weapons provide extraordinary cost saving and help the military in any tactical scenario. The conventional defense weaponry costs millions of dollars per shot and is limited in stock. On the contrary, laser weapons can be renewable as long as a power supply is available. Lockheed Martin and the Navy combined have been working on a 60-kilowatt ship-integrated laser weapon named High Energy Laser with Integrated Optical Dazzler and Surveillance, Helios. The testing and preparation of this laser weapon were completed at Wallops Island and it will be sent to San Diego, California to be deployed on a Navy destroyer called the USS Preble. Laser weapons have been used on warships for several years now, but Helios is extremely powerful, scalable, lethal, and has a longer range than existing or previous lasers. 
Arming destroyers and warships with Helios is a great step towards the advancement of the Navy's maritime and warfare capabilities as their intensity can be adjusted according to the threat. For example, disabling, stopping, or destroying the target would require different intensities. This powerful laser has been deployed on warships as the United States Navy and its industry partners have discovered innovative ideas to utilize the laser on board. If the right amount of power and energy is supplied, these laser weapons can be power scaled to hit and eliminate the targets at longer ranges with lethal weapons effects. The Missile Defense Agency is now working on using lasers for missile defense, meaning it could be technically possible to fire lasers to the top of or even beyond the boundary of the Earth's atmosphere. An interceptor weapon such as SM-3 or SM-6 might not be as scalable as they will use explosive energetics and fragmentation to destroy a threat object. However, a laser might be positioned to obliterate or disable a threat without generating a large and potentially indiscriminate explosion. These weapons can be particularly useful in circumstances where a threat is mobile or flying over a populated area such as a highly trafficked ocean area, where two ship defenders might wish to minimize potential damage to civilians. Do you guys think that laser weapons will change the face of warfare? Be sure to watch our other video, Putin is Scared. This America's new Super F-15EX is shocking Russia.